I'm Deborah Borchardt, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. The mighty seem to have fallen this week in the cannabis industry, so let's get the bad news out of the way first. Canopy Growth made major organizational changes this week, including its decision to end its New York hemp farming and just use its stockpile of CBD. It is also stopping its growing facilities in South Africa and Colombia, and they're closing another indoor facility in Saskatchewan. Aurora Cannabis stock fell so low that the company was forced to do a reverse split to jumpstart the price to move it over a dollar so it wouldn't be delisted by the New York Stock Exchange. This was right after it issued new shares. Organogram reported that its second quarter net revenues fell to $23 million from last year's $26 million. The company also said it wasn't in compliance with its debt covenants. CanTrust got its cease trade order from the Ontario Securities Commission. The company decided to throw in the towel and quit fighting to get its licenses back. The lawsuits and expenses to ramp up would have easily eaten up the company's war chest of $145 million. Okay, it wasn't all bad. AFRIA delivered a solid quarter with net cannabis revenue of $55.6 million in the third quarter. That was an increase of 65% from the prior quarter. Their total net revenue was $144 million, and the company beat analysts' expectations, but they still pulled their previous guidance due to the pandemic. Now, despite tight capital conditions, some companies managed to raise money. Software company GreenBits snagged $23 million from Tiger Global and Casa Verde. The licensed producer Clever Leaves raised $14 million in a Series E round. And in psychedelic news, biotech holding company Orthogonal Thinker said it has completed filing a provisional application for the company's flagship natural product, Silly. And that's it for this week. Stay safe out there.